Call him for that. Okay. Yep. Uh, do we want to talk about sig figs and taking logs? Oh, you know, here? we ought to do that. That's a good point. Um, a very good point, actually. Whenever you take the... Yeah. Mm -hmm. How many sig figs do you see in a, if a pH is equal to 11.7? Looks like three sig figs. Yeah, but that'd be wrong, Mr. Sig. Yeah, I know it is. I know you do. But here, you see, the thing with pH, because really, if you think about it, the 11 right here, if you're thinking mathematically, the 11 is actually showing the power of 10. And the 7 is the actual value. So um, sig figs and pHs, this is actually considered to only have one sig fig. And that sig fig is the 7. You see, the sig figs, you only count numbers past the decimal. Right. So if I've got a pH of 6.27, that like that's got two figures. sig figs. And if I have 12.27... That's also considered two sig figs because you only count the decimals past. Right. So if we want, let's say we want to calculate the, the concentration from 6.27. I go 10 to the negative 6.27. And you get five. Since that number had two significant figures, my answer should have two significant figures, and that would be 5.4 times 10 to the negative 7. You can put that in your calculator. Okay. All right. So let's have we done done this appropriately? I think we've probably beat that into the ground enough. Uh, we have not. Sorry. Actually, our sig figs are wrong in here. That's, That's why what I, I was just saying. noticed. This number here right is wrong and wrong because we only have one sig fig in this answer. We have only one sig fig here, so I should just say three, three. and this will be three, three. And then those were two, so those do have two. Those are correct. Yeah, two and two, so that's correct. We should jump down and maybe do this one right here, this yeah. last one. This one... I don't even need a calculator. No, we can do this one in our head. I think this is seven. This is magic. Seven, and of course this makes this neutral. neutral. Now, how do we do this? Well, ten to the negative seventh is... Uh, 10 to the negative 7. Right. So it's 1 times 10 to the minus 7. Mold. Yeah. If, it, if it's just a single number with no decimals, you put 1 times 10 to the negative, and whatever number it is there, that's the number you put for the exponent. I don't know that we need to do this one. I think nah, you got the idea. I think you got it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Has you got any more uh, lime, lime ricks? Or, uh, oh, boy. Voice? Yeah, I do. I have a, I have a haiku about oxygen. Haiku? Yes. What's a haiku? Five syllables, seven syllables, five syllables. All right, here we okay. go. This is my oxygen haiku. I will breathe you in. Cellular respiration. Out goes CO2. That was it? It's a haiku. Five syllable line, seven syllable line, five syllable so The O2 goes in it's and the CO2 beautiful. goes out. Yeah. But I, I must have missed the artist. Cellular respiration. Cellular respiration. Yeah, I will breathe you in. <gasps> five syllables. Cellular respiration. That's my seven syllable. You gonna hold your breath? Okay. Out goes CO2. <laughs> swimmer, you can hold your breath. <laughs> bye, I just guys. exhale. All right, bye-bye. See you in class.